Hi everybody in my TSTO Harry Potter group and YouTube channel. So, today is going to be another video in my memory series. So this video here is called A Twinkle in the Cat's Eye. So I can't remember which one this is. But we're about to find out. So join me on this memory. Do, do, do. In a move that no one saw coming, Grogu Baby has entered the classroom to team up with Hogwarts' one and only Quidditch announcer, Murphy McNully, and his pet Neasel, Neil. Hello, Murphy. Thanks so much for agreeing to meet with me and for bringing Neil along, too. It's my pleasure, Grogu, though I must say I'm curious as a cat to find out what this is all about. Funny you should mention cats, Murphy, because that's exactly the subject I wanted to speak with you about. I've been trying to reunite this wild Madagot with his new friend, Miss Norris. And since I've been noticing the Madagot is exhibiting a lot of feline behavior similar, similar to Scrapfoot, I thought you might be able to teach me some tricks to help me appeal to the creature's cat-like instincts. I do know a little from caring for a cat of my own, but Scrapfoot isn't a magical creature like Neil. Of course, Grogu. Here are some tips that are sure to put you on the fast lane to magical feline friendship. Thanks for the tips, Murphy. All these sound like really fun suggestions to help me bond with the Madagot. You mentioned the cats love chasing after bright lights, and that just gave me a bright idea. I can illuminate the tip of my wand to create a bright light and wave it around for the Madagot to chase after. That's a smashing idea, Grogu. Way to think outside the litter box. But the one remaining question on everyone's minds is, which spell are you going to cast to illuminate the tip of your wand? I know, I can use Lumos to light the tip of my wand. Yes, that's you're brilliant, Grogu, and so is Lumos. That's the perfect charm to light the tip of your wand. Go ahead and cast Lumos, Grogu, and we'll have this Madagot playing with you in no time. Lumos! <laughs> Look at that. Just like a ball of yarn. That's neat. Look, it's working! The Madagot is chasing my wand! Just as we suspected, no feline is able to resist the illuminated lure of a lovely Lumos light show. We'll say that ten times fast. It's almost as if Madagot is dancing with me. Aw, oh, look at the little cat. Look out, baby, that hideous black cat is trying to attack you. Good thing the most powerful witch at Hogwarts is here to take care of it. Yeah, I would not be attacking that cat. Marula, no! Stupefy! Get her! <laughs> you shouldn't have done that, Marula. Hagrid said that casting a spell against a Madagot would be a very bad idea. Ah. <sighs> Now I understand exactly what Hagrid meant by that warning. What's that? this? In a surprising twist, the Madagot has rebuffed Marilla Snide's stunning spell, and in response, the creature appears to have multiplied into two. Run if you like, but you too won't be able to hide from Marilla Snide for long. And when I do catch up to you, I'll drive you wretched creatures away from Hogwarts once and for all. I need to save the Madagots and stop Marula from causing even more trouble than she already has. Oh my god. Okay, I guess that's the end of that. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, well that's the end of... uh. That's the end of this memory. Kind of a different one. 
a twinkle in the cat's eye. Okay, well that's the end of this memory, as I said. And feel free to like and like the video and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more Hogwarts mystery content. Until next time, happy tapping because this is the way.